we went over how to create a very, very basic widget, and I was asked quite a few times how to add options to that widget in the back end. You know, like on uh, this text widget here, we have the text title and then the text body. How do you do that? How do you add fields in the back end that the user can go in and edit and then click an update button and that will post it or save it as, uh, as the information for the widget? Everything has at least a title that are default to WordPress, it seems like. Well, let's, let's do a see title, number of posts, display post date. Those kind of inform that kind of information, how do you do that? How do you show that kind of stuff? And what I've done is I've developed a very, very basic widget that incorporates some very, very basic options and some input fields. This is an advanced topic. We're going to be covering some stuff that I've not really gone over before. So this, this is not a beginner thing. You, you can't just come into this and take away what I tell you and then go make a widget with options. You have to you have to do this, you have to think about it, you have to try it a few times, you have to work on it, you have to Google some stuff, I and mean, you're gonna have to do some different stuff to get what you want out of it. But I'm gonna show you how to use things, how to use different fields, how to how to use them and update them, and then how to display that data. We're gonna be covering some some pretty advanced stuff, some pretty advanced PHP stuff, some pretty advanced WordPress stuff. So if you're a beginner, I would highly suggest you uh, look into PHP a bit more and then come back here. Now this isn't like advanced PHP stuff, it's advanced WordPress stuff, but use a lot of PHP stuff we've not used yet within our WordPress series. So just to give you a quick idea, I've made this widget called the optionated widget, obviously. And inside of it we have a widget title, we can change that, how many should be listed, because it's going to have a list of items, it's just generic things. And should bullets be displayed, it uh, will be using that information to turn bullets on and off with CSS. Just a simple, I don't know what to think, I, didn't, I couldn't think of anything else to do, so we're going to be turning bullets on and off, right? So how does, how does this work? So the title's that, we could say, how many displayed, we want to show one. Should bullets be displayed? If we put true and we'll click save, you'll see all the information I added whenever that saved, it refreshed, right? So it's still showing the information that was in there. So it saved that information, and now it's outputting that information as the value of these fields. Now if we go in here and we look at the website, you'll see right here we have the optionated widget, that's the title. The Kings League Odyssey is the post name. We're querying uh, posts from our WordPress database. Yes is saying it's true. If it was false, it would say no. And then that's just something from the other series. So if I click false and I set this to two and I change this to uh, cow, cow, I click save, go ahead and refresh. You'll see now we have two games listed and nope. And it's optionated cow. So it works very, very basic, but you can take this information and do a lot of stuff with it. So you're, you're doing a, a check for a true or false with something and then you're outputting something based on the, what you get back. And then you're setting a field using that value to adjust the post per page that we're using, which is kind of a, a very handy thing to do. And then you're using a field and it's echoing out that information. So you can really learn a lot of different stuff just by following this little series we're going to be covering. Now I'm going to show you at a quick glance uh, a mess of code. It's not optimized at the moment. We'll probably do a bit better when we write it for the tutorial. But at the moment, this is our widget. I don't freak out if you don't know what's going on because it's quite a bit of stuff. This is probably stuff you will not remember. You'll have to come back and look. You'll have to Google some stuff. I mean, it's just, uh, you, you have to know where stuff goes, okay? So we'll be covering this. We'll be writing this uh, from scratch as we go. It'll look pretty much like this. We might change a couple things. But what's going on here, though, is we have the, the construct function here, which is just, you know, we've already went over that. We don't have to go over that. The widget is the front end output from on the website itself, so we're echoing out some uh, some arguments and uh, doing our query here through our posts, and then we are setting stuff based on a boolean. Not really a boolean; it's a string here in this in this case. It's pretty much a boolean. It's true or false, but it's a string form. Uh, that's that's okay, right? And then we're just uh, coming in here to our form. Now this is the back end form, so I've uh, initialized some variables. And then, ignore that, we're not going to use that, I was just messing around with some stuff. 
Now we're checking to see if something said, if it is, we're setting something to something else. So we're setting this variable to equal this field. Okay, we're doing that. We're doing that for this field as well. Now here is the actual inputs. We have the label, then we have the input field, then we have another label for another input field. Now here, this may be a bit difficult for some people. It's, uh, it's a bit more advanced. We're setting a variable to an array, so it's got true or false. We could add 100 billion of these if we wanted to. Well, whatever the limitation is. I don't know what the limitation is. But it's whatever the PHP array, however many values you can set, you can set here. And it'll add that many options. Because the, the amount of options you're echoing is based on how many you have here. So for each options, and you're setting the value of that to this so for each, and then set that as that. We'll go over that a bit more. I'm just kind of giving an overview. And then we're going to echo out for each one of those. So if we have 20 of these, it'll echo out this 20 times. If we have one of these, it'll echo this out one time. And then we're going through and give it some IDs and, and uh, names. And then we're going to say, if bullets, we're pretty much saying right here, if bullets is equal to the option, then do this and that, which is the blank, blank space there. Not even a space, just just an empty area. So saying if that, do that, and that, and then that's going to be the value you see. So option is going to be the same, or the value is going to be the same as the as the ID and the actual value it posts to the database. And then we're just echoing out the close there. Now the update we're going to be doing, we're just setting all these fields to equal themselves, but we're cleaning them out. Right, we're getting rid of uh, PHP tags, HTML tags, anything that could cause some harm. Anything that could inject some stuff you don't want, anything that can mess some stuff up. Now, obviously, you don't want to do this if you're doing like a text field and you want to, like the, like the text widget where you can write HTML in there. You want to go a different route. You don't want to strip all the tags out. You just want to strip out the harmful ones. But in this case, we don't need any HTML to be available in these fields. So whenever you post them, uh, just get rid of all, you get rid of everything. And I'll show you that really quick. If we go to the back end and I add that that's a php opening tag right click save and it gets rid of it now i can just add a question mark and it won't get rid of it but if i add this it'll get rid of it so you 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 have limits on what you can do like you can't add html tags right anything that are inside these brackets are pretty much going to get destroyed Okay, so you can't do that. You can't do PHP. You can't write code in these fields whenever you're stripping all the tags out. So that's that's that. So we're doing that for all these. We're cleansing all of these instances of fields, and then we're returning the new refreshed instance. Okay, so we're taking the new instance, and see the old instance is what it was before. New instance is what you just updated it with. It's taking that and storing it in the new instance there and then just returning the instance Does that make any sense if it don't yet it will because we're not we're not going over it like we will in the tutorial i'm just giving you a rough overview of what it'll be and here we're just initializing the widget and getting it uh getting it to work so we're not going to be going over the very very basics like we're not going to be going over these different functions the construct function the widget function we're not going to be doing that because we've already done that but we are going to be going over the options part of things. Nothing else, just the options, right? And then outputting the options and stuff. So that'll do it for this short introduction video. Please stay tuned if you do want to, uh, if you want to follow along, because we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. You will learn a lot of stuff, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do a lot of different stuff. It'll be fun. So please stick around. Subscribe if you are interested. Follow me on Google+. Plus. It's Awful Media is the page. My name is Austin. Gregory on Google Plus. I'll have a link in the description. Follow me on Twitter at Awful Media and the Facebook page Awful Media. My name is Austin, and I'll see you next time.